Nosing its way out of the Newport depot, one of Melbourne's brand new trains makes its way onto the Werribee line. But before it can move, the line is closed to all other trains, forcing passengers onto buses. This project is a debacle from way to go. The government is massively behind time, two years behind time, and now commuters are being made to pay the price. Usually these types of tests are conducted at night. <laughs> But with public transport patronage down significantly because of stage four restrictions, testing of the new trains is being fast-tracked. They have to be tested in a range of different conditions. So it involves uh, running at different speeds, maximum minimum speeds, running safely through level crossings. Now, almost two years late, the $2.3 billion fleet of 65 trains is being built by a consortium led by Downer and China's Changcheng Railway Company. We still haven't seen the trains operating properly. We know that there's a long list of problems. The high capacity trains will initially run on the busy Dandenong corridor, but the government still can't say exactly when they'll enter service. And this current period of testing that's going on right now will help inform and uh, help confirm when these trains will be entering passenger services. Afternoon and evening closures on the Werribee line are due to continue until September 13, when stage four restrictions are slated to end. Andrew Lund, Nine News.